Welcome to Dads That Cook, I'm Jason Glover. I'm on a quest right now to go out around the country and find dads that know how to cook. They may be plumbers, electricians, physicians. We're gonna highlight the incredible meals that they make, show everything that they do, and get you the recipes so you can make them when you're sitting at home with your family as well. There's no time limits, there's no secret ingredients, and no experts, just good cooking. Meet Scotty Bastable, born and raised in Chicago. Scotty's a hard-working father who taught himself to cook all kinds of sensational dishes, even dessert. But don't take my word for it. Let's check in with the man himself. So welcome to Dad's That Cook. I'm Jason Glover. Today, we have an awesome guest. I want to introduce you to Scotty. Bastable. Bastable. Yeah. Scotty, very nice to meet you. We're going to make some food, huh? Oso buco is, is the main course. We're going to put on a nice bed of risotto, and we're going to wilt some spinach just for a second. But save your fork, yeah, because we got we dessert. Got Tres good... leches. The kids like it. It's like, is this healthy, Dad? Shh. Don't tell Mom. This recipe, the osobuco, Yes. where did you come up with wanting to make it? Uh, my brother Jimmy. I was at his house and he said we're gonna go buy some veal today. How many brothers? In... Uh, I'm the youngest of six. So there's... There's six? Yeah, five boys, one girl. In Chicago, uh, born and raised, you gotta be quick and or hungry. I know exactly, because I grew up with four boys and I was the youngest, so it was like, as soon as food was there, if you didn't get it, you forget it about mm -hmm. it, you're not eating. I used to go underneath the kitchen table sometimes and get a little something the brothers <laughs> dropped. <laughs> kind of like a puppy a little bit. Yeah. That's true, actually. And you have two girls. Actually three, one's way college and then uh, Maddie and Michelle 12 and 10 a beautiful wife Jolie who's forever young and you guys met how long ago going on 14 now, wow yeah. congratulations yeah, I saw her and that's the one for me that I was said. it uh -huh. we're here in San Francisco yes there's a contest that's every true. year yep for the best bell ringing dude. For the last 50 years, they've had a contest for the actual grip men that work on the cable car. They also have an amateur division, and amateurs can ring and you raise money for charity. Right. So I was asked five years ago, and I've been a five time champion. Five times? Five time champion. You tell a story, it was all set to music and different actors. It's that elaborate. It is elaborate. I was Santa Claus once a year. I thought you'd just be standing there going, Oh no, no, it's, ring, too, ling, it's too ling. hard. They asked if I can come back one more year. One more year. Thinking about it. One for the thumb, I guess. That's right, one for the thumb. Yeah. <laughs> you ready to make this osabuco? Absolutely. But you can't cook it without something special. Okay. So here, we've got your cooking jacket. Hey, look at that. Look at this, Dad's that cook oh, cooking yeah. jacket. Check that out. Oh, it's like I made varsity, man. I'm big time. Chef Scotty's gonna oh, be cooking today. Thank you. I wear it with pride. All right, we're in the kitchen now. And we've got all this stuff laid out. We do out. have And it looks like you brought out your whole kitchen, everything in the refrigerator. It's the full table. Mm -hmm. I'm overwhelmed, I can't <laughs> think. <laughs> well, let me take you through it. We have a veal shanks. So you got your whole tomatoes that mm -hmm. you're gonna crush. Out of the can. The garlic we're gonna use when we cook the osobuco. Now the beer, this is a, a black stout. I like to drink it, but I'm gonna save it and we're gonna cook the veal in that. You got the spinach, big bowl, small roll, just wilt that. Then we have the Parmesan cheese, which goes on at the end of the risotto, mm -hmm. which at the beginning, we have our onion. Your mushrooms are gonna roast those, slice Great. them up and roast them, okay. throw them in the risotto near the end. Don't forget the wine, that's not for the cake. That's not for the cake? That's not for the cake. Now this is a Chablis. A little Chablis. A little Chablis, that's right. Mm -hmm straight out of the box. And then in this martini pitcher, we have some chicken broth, mm -hmm. which we're gonna keep on dumping in and, and make the risotto, take it and take it and take, take it. it. But this is uh, the fun with the cake. All-purpose mm. flour, because you're yes. all-purpose kind of guy. Mm -hmm. Your sugar, your vanilla, mm -hmm. your, your yummy eggs, your salt, your bacon powder to give it some lift. And then the trace leches are indeed evaporated milk, condensed milk, and then your, uh, and Put a little cherry on top. A little cherry on top. Yeah, okay. that, that's a nice little fun deal. How do you set up your osabuco? So I'm going to salt one side, then pepper, flip it over, do the same in the other deal. I'm a hands guy. Yeah, just use your fingers. This is a good little, that, little, that little spoon <laughs> isn't going to do it. You want to sprinkle like it's Christmas time, and then I like a little fine grind. I like that little grind uh -huh. you got there. Isn't it nice? And then we're going to flip these Johnsons over. We got eight of these. Got eight little. Because eight is enough. It's kind of like watching the Brady Bunch. I always wish I was part of that crew too. No. But that was like your family, wasn't it? It was. Did you have Alice though? <laughs> no, you didn't <laughs> have Alice. No, that was just I mine. I didn't have Alice. Okay, let's get this over here. All right, let's do it. Up. Let's do it. So let's put these down here. Okay. Your Take this. Going. You want that? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Let's throw a little Ooh, butter in hot. there. Ooh, that's a little hot. Ooh, see? It's hot. Hot. That's hot. hot. Ah, that's not hot. Come on. Ah, that's not well, too bad. Well, it's a little warm right there. And then we're just gonna brown these. Brown them up. I like to give them a little room. No yeah. crowding. Look at that. Is that almost yeah, happy that's already? Yeah, good already. Yeah, I'm pretty happy. Mm -hmm. Just want to get a little brownness to it. That yeah. smells good. Mm -hmm. You need to get that garlic out. Yeah. Are hey. you gonna chop it I'm up? I'm gonna grab a knife. Do? I'm into that as well. <laughs> I'm gonna turn on the oven. Oh, okay. 
Do you know how? Uh, I talk dirty to it. I don't know. Yeah. Just, Come on, baby. <laughs> just, I just want to warm you up for a little there bit. There you go. You're going to put the... Woo! Magic! Yeah. And that's going to be around five minutes that we're going to let that <clears throat> reduce a little bit. I like it. Let's crush some tomatoes. All right, let's do it. I'm still okay. holding the symbol. See? You just want to squeeze in there a little bit. Squeeze right, oh, boy, it gets squirty, doesn't it? I bet uh -huh. if you didn't have a jacket. Exhibit A, right? See, you have his jacket. OK, so we got more to do. All right, what do you got? These guys are going back in. You're going to put the bucos? Yeah, everybody goes in. Ooh, it's going to be a party. Look at that hot tub. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of bubbling a little bit. OK. They're starting to sweat. You can see, look, that one, okay. the forehead's going. Yeah. Uh, but he's not moving because he knows no. thyme and rosemary are showing uh, up. Everybody gets a tomato. And then we're going to give a little bit of the juice. A little oh, bit of the juice. juice. Yeah, I've got to get a little bit of that little juice bit in there. Well. Make it happy. A little bit right there. And then we got to get the girls. Get the girls. OK. Get thyme, get rosemary. Tell them, hey, you know, you don't want to miss out on this one. I brought my boys. <laughs> Just going to throw the whole sprig in there. Yeah, the whole sprig. The whole sprig stays you know, right messing there. messing around. Okay. Wow, good work. You ready? Yeah. You can handle it? I hope so. And look at this small little oven you got, too, <laughs> man. It's like Easy Bake Oven. <laughs> That's right. right. That's right. Open the door, the light goes out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got to do some risotto. risotto. We got to wait on that. We can wait on that. We, gotta, we can wait a second. Maybe dessert? Yeah, let's get the let's get the cake going. Okay. Cake sounds like a good idea. What do you think? So what came first? Eggs. Yeah. Eggs. So we need to separate the yolk. All so right. Let's get a couple bowls here. a little bowl there. So everybody has You can do everything by hand. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm a hand guy. You're a hand dough guy. Yeah, so huh? right there, throw that bad boy Throw that in there and let the garbage disposal do its work. That's right. One and two. One and two. Wow, you really get in there with those hands, don't you? Yeah, they're clean. So we're going to put the yolks in there and around three quarters of a cup of sugar. So we're going to put these in. Slide those suckers Slide in. Slide in. One, two, three, four. Sugar, right. sugar. And then we're going to get it going in. You're looking for color here. Color? We'll get that going. So that's a pretty color. And then I'm going to add a third okay. cup of milk. Third cup? A little vanilla. Just get that so it's blended. Pretty happy, shiny color. Yeah, it's looking good. Flour, flour. What are you gonna do with flour? Uh, we're gonna just we're gonna make a cake. <laughs> we're gonna make a cake. We're gonna make a cake. So we're just getting all the dry ingredients. A little bit of baking powder. A little bit of salt. We're just gonna mix the uh, the wet with the dry here. And I like to pick the spatula that matches the color I'm making. Well, of course. Why would you want? Why would you want to throw yourself off? You want it to, to get together. So we got our egg white, and then a quarter cup of sugar. And we're gonna get these and blend that up uh, some more. But how long is that going to be? Stick for uh, soft feet. Yeah, it's going to stick, but it's going to But gonna not going to, it's going to settle back down. Yeah. Okay. That looks yeah, good. Yeah, so it's just, just kind of just hanging oh, out. Oh, yeah. But, and we're going to put this one in. But they, we don't worry about don't touching worry each about other. It. So he fold it in uh -huh. until the, the, that gentle yellow color is there. So that looks pretty good right there. That does look mm -hmm. good right there. Just a wisp of white is still in Wispy. there, which is what you want. So what are you going to do? We got to ready the pan. Okay, I got to lube it up with mm -hmm. some butter. And this is going to bake for around um, 35 to 45 minutes. Okay. So we just got to put it in the oven, 350, and we're ready 350 to go. 350, and we're ready uh, to go. Use one of these ones. Get your little, yeah, little toothpick when it's time and ready to go. Exactly. All right, well, I can't wait to try that. It's going to be mm, it. We pulled out our cake. Yes. And we let it sit for half an hour, half an hour. 42, 42 minutes. 42 minutes. And now it's all nice and cool. I you flipped it over. Took it out of the pan, flipped it over. Flipped it over. Back in the pan. And we're going to do what with it now? We are going to put some holes in it. I like to go along the edge. So you're just forking I'm it. I'm forking it. So man. And you think you've done forking, you got to keep more. <laughs> just fork it, will you? <laughs> now we're going to do our trace leche. So we have our evaporated milk. If not first, it's got to be second. It's a condensed okay. because you'll see in a moment. Yeah, and you're not kidding. It's condensed. <laughs> yeah, that's condensed, all right. Yeah. That's not something you're going to open up a can and just start drinking. Not, what not, color not, not you need? Uh, I'm going green now. Wow, you've got that down. And then we're going to... The cream's already rising to the top with the cream. What are you going to do with the top? Creamy stuff? Oh, it's going in there. Oh, OK. Stir it up. You're going to stir it. A little dry, and you can feel the thickness of it. Uh -huh. And you can first you think, oh, I'm going to get artistic and draw a picture. Sure, Pollock. <laughs> Say goodbye to that, and then we're going to pour it in. And it's going to be splashy, and that's a good thing. And another reason I do the first or second of the uh, condensed is because nearly it's a little thicker that helps uh -huh. weigh it down. So it uh -huh. pushes the, the milk into the hole. Squishes holes. it down. So we'll let this rest for around 30 minutes and then we'll, uh, we'll take right. it from there. Okay. We got the pans all nice and hot. A little clarified butter. Clarified butter? Just to clarify things. Just to clarify things. Uh -huh. Your mushrooms are going to roast those. Okay. Throw them in the risotto near the end. Nice. And then I've got some of the chicken stock, actually all. Warm enough to have four cups of that, so that will be added to the risotto. Oh, I heard a little something. I think it's I think right. I can go. I think I can go now. Here it comes. Oh, yeah. See, now it's partying. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, everybody loves onions. Mm. That's a go-to smell in the household. And so we're about ready to put the risotto. Couple cups. Couple cups. And the process begins. This is your chablis. The chablis. The chablis is going in the pan. It changes the nuance of it, mm -hmm. so it allows it to not get too heavy in the flavor of the chicken. Make it more alive, yeah. Scott. Because <laughs> it's dead right now. We got our mushrooms. Yeah, mushies yeah. are working its mm -hmm. thing. When the risotto gets a little complacent, like it's not really absorbing much because it feels like it's done its job, and that's when we start to throw in some of the some of the stock. 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 Yeah. So now we're gonna get this risotto to absorb and you gotta it. You got to keep stirring. Yeah, you don't want to burn, and it allows it to give everyone a chance to get a drink of the stock. Yeah, the risotto is cooking up nicely. That's still got another 15 minutes, maybe, <laughs> of stirring. I'm just starting to hit my stride. I'm uh, getting blisters on my yeah, finger. A little spin yeah. right there. Get, ooh, look oh, at the yeah, tricks. Yeah. Put one foot up on the yeah. counter. There you go. <laughs> I'm gonna put some. Uh, I'm gonna put some of that cheese in here. You want me to grab it for you? Uh, sure. Right. It's over yonder. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Oh yeah, here you go. Oh, thank goodness, it was Man. almost overcooked. God, so I'm gonna put this. That took forever to go get oh, that. Yeah. Oh, look at look at your mad skills, right? <laughs> yeah. Ooh, that looks good, man. So, yeah, this is good. We're gonna keep this warm. Yeah, you gonna put a little cover on, it, or are you just gonna leave it the way it is? I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna gonna put a little cover on. It. We'll let that sit. Yes. We'll go check out the cake. Let's make that happen. All right. We're gonna whip that up and make some whipped cream. Yes. Okay. I want to see your little story. Looks like you got some good stuff going on. Let's get whipping. Let's get whipping. Okay. Got a pint. Pint and a splash. Pint and a splash of some heavy oh, cream. Heavy cream. And we're gonna go... Uh, sugar? A little, sh little sugar. I like sugar in mine. Yeah, a little bit. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm ready. It's not that it's cheating, but I almost feel like I should be doing more work. When we were kids, we mm -hmm. all did that. Yeah. We didn't have the little hand no, blender deal. Go. That is looking pretty. Oh, my God! 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 Give everybody a roll. So you're gonna line up here, and we're not gonna do the sides. Two reasons: one, we kept it in the pan here. Yeah. We could have taken it out at this point. Could have. But I like the size because it it really has a better presentation. You don't want to bruise the cake. No, don't bruise it. We will stick the cherries on after we slice it and dice it. Yes. We'll have one Squares. on there when we're ready to serve it. Yes. Now you're gonna lick the counter. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> there's, a, there's a spot over here. <laughs> and the osabuco, where are we at? Oh, we are, we are also ready. So it's time to eat? Uh, yes, uh, spinach. Popeye says oh, little spinach. Little spinach. I'm hungry, let's go. Let's do it. We're gonna plate it up, and we're gonna make it happen, so why don't you come on back and see us in the other room, because we're gonna be sitting down with the family talking to them about it. <gasps> Yay. We're sitting down with the Bastables here. We're at the table. We've been cooking all day. This food is just looking so good. So we have the family here now. Yes. We, where did you guys show up? We locked in the back room. We locked you in the back. <laughs> so uh, beautiful, darling. Wonderful woman, Jolie, my wife here. We have uh, Michelle, the youngest, and then we have Maddie at 12. You know, I haven't eaten all day, so this All day, because starve yeah. you. That's yeah. how your dad does yeah. it, right? Do you guys like to cook with your dad? Do you ever cook with your dad? Sometimes. Um, I mostly do. She only does really the tasting, but. You do the tasting. Yeah. That's the best part. Yeah. What do you like to cook? Mostly pastries. So you're going to like the cake that we got going on a little bit later? Uh-huh. It's very good. It's very good. It's awesome. My favorite. It's your favorite. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I was very happy when Scotty said what he was making for dessert. It's like, yes. I want to try this food, whatever okay. you say. Ooh. Wow. Okay, there oh it is. Gosh. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll slide lift it, over. it up. There you go. Right there, and the juice and along the, with it. And a little happy. Oh, uh -huh. look at that. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh, my God. That's <laughs> so good. I say that, but I'm saying that because it's, you it's should really be saying good. that. You know what I mean? And that beer, I get a little hint of that beer. They're really soaked into the meat. It's melting in my mouth. We're going to get some new recipes from you. I've got a uh, cold cereal one that's really good. <laughs> <laughs> this is, uh, it's by far one of the best meals I've ever had. If this is good, then this dessert that I've been hearing about is probably phenomenal. But I'm ready for that dessert, so. I think I hear something calling. Yeah. I think yeah. we should get the dessert. Okay. I'm going in. Here we go. Okay. I'm going to do it without the cherry off the top. Savor it. Oh, my God. When you <laughs> it. <laughs> it's so darn good. Is it good? Like, you, as soon as you bite into it, it's like this sponge. It just goes. You wake up in the middle of the oh night. Yeah. And you go into the fridge for this. This is where no one's looking, and you're like, oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. This is awesome. Thank you so much. Thank I you so much. I love it. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you for having us. You two little cutie pies. Definitely go back to dadsidecook.com. Check out all the sabuco, all the stuff we made today. But thanks again for having us. You're welcome. All right. Thank Thank you. Awesome. And we'll see you next time on Dad's That Cook. Awesome.
So are you a dad? Do you like to cook? Do you cook meals for your family? Are you a regular dad like I am and not professionally trained, but you think you've got what it takes to be on my show? Go to dadsthatcook.com, fill out the form, and who knows, you might be the next person on our show.